Today, we went bouldering in Zarok, which is a 20 minute slash 40 minute hike above Namche. We found a boulder. We got a topo from a friend of mine, Brian Rosa in Boston. Told us some boulders up here, told us where there's some projects. Pretty good rock. Dirty rock, but you just gotta clean it. And we have these like really thin pads that Brian had made in Kathmandu and brought out here. We're PM trash pads that have been left here eight years ago. Ah. Got the pad. The day after we continued our ascent, uh, hiking on some beautiful trails and hanging bridges, going through cute villages with interesting wildlife. The weather got pretty foggy but it didn't stop us from hanging around when we had some downtime. Above Dingboche we found that solo boulder that we could climb on and do a pseudo mini training. <laughs> Today is the day we're going to the base camp. That's the way. Uh, we're near Everest Base Camp. It's over there somewhere. We're in the touristy Everest Base Camp. Yes. Now <laughs> push up the Kalapata. Kalapatar, 5545, something like that. Just got here for the sunset. Got a nice view on the mountains on the back. Nah, it's cold, so we're gonna go down. That's it, we reach our goal. Actually, two goals. Everest Base Camp and going on top of Kalapatar, which allows a very nice view on Everest itself. I think Thomas brought a special treat for us from France. Start with the F, finish with Romage. <laughs> Tomorrow we start our descent. It took us seven days to go up just because we wanted to go slow to get used to the altitude. But on the way down, we just ran and we made it back to Lukla in a day and a half. Made it back to Lukla. Yesterday morning, we were in Gorakshin. We got pretty unlucky when we reached Lukla because even if the weather was pretty good here, there was some clouds in the valley and when that happens, most of the plane don't fly. So every morning there would be a few planes going um, in and out but we would always be the next passengers on the list so we were stuck for a few days and had to find some good occupation. This is our fourth day in Lukla, stuck because of weather. We are going to I don't know where, but by helicopter. Are you scared? 
Just flew for about five minutes in the helicopter, which was pretty cool. First time Josh, Tom, and I, and another one of us went on a helicopter, and everything went well. And now we're in Pablo, which is a little tent we couldn't even find on the map. <laughs> but apparently, we'll get a Jeep and drive five, six hours to Kathmandu. Today is our last day in Nepal and the plan is to spend the day in Astray climbing gym and set some folders, some loops for a little clinic later, climbing with everybody. So let's see what holes we got from Vox. We noticed on our first visit at the gym that um, the holes were pretty old because it's so hard for them to ship holes. We're going to strip this uh, low angled wall. So luckily we had my sponsor Volks Climbing Holds that was able to donate some holes and we're psyched to set some boulders with it. Most important part of the day, the lunch Ooh. break. We're in the back of the wall and we're picking up some volumes. <laughs> Thank you for the warm welcome in the fall. We were quite looking forward to do a clinic and slideshow and show videos uh, at the gym in Kathmandu um, just because it's a great opportunity to meet most of the climbers and share about our adventures and it was awesome to see so many people coming in and climb for hours and hours. As usual, it's a little hard to um, quit the country where we spend such a good time. So in the morning, we say goodbye to our friend at the Hotel Kumari Inn. Boarding for Chengdu, Chengdu. leaving Nepal. Leaving Nepal. <laughs> 